Okay, we are live. The, I'm here in a coffee shop in Raton, New Mexico. It's a lovely bar. Look at that bar. Here's my coffee. So, the connection says it's weak. It says the connection is weak. So, we'll see how this, if it's all groggy or. But, uh, just thought I'd try to do a live stream this morning. We'll see if anybody shows up. I had a good, not too shabby day yesterday. I did three not too shabbies in Trinidad, Colorado. And now I'm in Raton. I'm in New Mexico. So maybe I'm, I'm hoping to go on a little bike ride and um, just around town. And then I might do a couple of two or three not too shabbies. So how's everyone doing? I'll use the name of the coffee shop. It says Enchanted Grounds. That's the name of the coffee shop. Enchanted Grounds. So. <laughs> Having a good time here. So. Hopefully somebody shows up. <laughs> Hello to that one person. Uh, so what am I doing down here? Um, I saw my massage therapist in Trinidad, Trinidad, Colorado, and I actually will see her again at four, four o'clock ish. Actually, four forty-five. I better remember the exact time. But so anyway, I'm down here in Raton, and uh, oh wait, hold on, Mike. Mike, comma, I am live streaming right now. Point, period. Do you want to join us? I got to text Mike. Mike's my buddy. So, hey, hey, Annette. How are you? I'm in Raton, New Mexico. I'm in Raton. I'm not that far away from Texas. Texas is only, you know, like an hour and a half east on the highway. So, and you know what? Do you know how, here's Texas. The Northwest, the marker for the Northwest corner of Texas. Like here's Texas, okay? That very tip corner. There's a marker. I could get there in an hour and a half and I could be in Texas. Right? That very tip, there's a marker. And nobody knows about it, by the way. Hardly anybody knows about it. It's not, like, like you only will know it if you've looked it up. So, hey, Mike. Yeah, I'm in Raton. Check out this bar. It's like a, it's a coffee shop. They got a big bar. It's like an old Western bar. And uh, it's called Sacred Grounds, or no, Enchanted Grounds. Because we're in New Mexico, so it's Enchanted Grounds. So lots of people, lots of noise. So <laughs> when I first got here, I was the only person. And the boss greeted me, and she's very nice. Now I'm just one of many people here. So my only concern is it just says the internet connection is weak. So we'll see if you can even, you know, see what I'm saying here. <laughs> so, so Mike, I don't know if you're, um, I don't know if you, you're, you're still watching, but I've been so, my bike is on my bike rack. My little Honda Civic. And I brought my cycling. I, I stayed at a, a motel in Raton. And um, I just, I just, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just, all week I've been saying, oh, the weather's going to be nice. Go, go bike around Raton. And I just, I don't, I don't know. There's something missing where I'm just not motivated. I'm just like, eh, who cares? So, yes, Annette, I do have allergies. So, I think all the rain has made it so that there's more things growing and there's more pollen. So, 
but it's just a little bit of an annoyance. So, but the temperature is pretty nice. It's going to be in the 60s today. So, <laughs> anyway. Anyway, Mike, I, I texted Mike and I said, Mike, I'm pathetic. You know, and he said, you achieve big stuff. And anyway, Mike encouraged me. So, so I'm thinking about just biking around town. And all I got to do is put my cycling. I'm wearing my shorts. And I got my jacket. And I'm just thinking about biking around town. And the only thing that can motivate me to bike right now is just to be in a search for not too shabby and just bike around. And so that's probably what I'm going to do. So. So Annette, how are you doing? How are things in Houston, the Houston area? I'm sorry for making fun of Texas on Twitter. Come on, though. when you're a Colorado, Texas is our punching bag that we make fun of. <laughs> it's just the truth. I have many Texas friends all over the state, from El Paso to Abilene to, you know, Dallas, Fort Worth, to uh, Little Town. Uh, my Glenda, Glenda and Sean, they live in a little town outside of Lubbock. It, my nephew goes to Texas A&M in Galveston. So I got lots of Texas friends, but anyway, but you know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I don't know who makes fun of... Colorado, we don't get made fun of that much. You know what I mean? Maybe because of the the cannabis being legal, that whole thing. Maybe that's it. People make fun of us for being potheads. And, you know, so anyway. <laughs> I'm actually in New Mexico, though. I'm in, I'm in the land of enchantment. It's, everything's called enchant... Like, everything has an enchanted theme. Because... The motto for New Mexico is the land of enchantment. And, um, <laughs> anyway. So, this is a nice coffee shop, and this bar is really is nice. It's a nice coffee bar kind of area. So, it's kind of an interesting, you know, Raton, <laughs> this is a really interesting town. There's a lot of things like Brett, Brett Tone, It's The one thing I'll say is it's, it's a lot like Canyon City. It's not a coffee shop town. There aren't any regulars or people into getting their morning coffee and hanging out. And, you know, so it's just kind of interesting. But Brett Tone is one of those towns where, you know, any decade now, it's going to have a, a major comeback. And people are going to discover it and they're going to want to live here. You know what I mean? It's like a slow turnaround. You know, I think it was an old mining town at one time. So, Raton, New Mexico. So, and it's especially for people that, that um, like, even Westcliff. Westcliff. I bought my house for cheap. I bought my house. I mean, I won't give a number on my live stream, but it was affordable. You know what I mean? The only people who don't like Colorado are truckers in the winter. <laughs> that is really funny. That is actually very true, too. So, yes, Annette, I have been to the Capulin Volcano National Monument. I was thinking about driving out there. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it this time. It just depends. I'm actually just I – might, I might go out there. I actually just want to go out to um, – there's a couple of little towns east of Capulin, New Mexico. Just Des Moines and uh, a couple other little towns where I just want to explore and just see if there's anything interesting. So, hey, Senior Pickle. Yes, I've been to upstate New York. I grew up in New Jersey, so I've been all over New York State. But, you know, the Buffalo, Rochester, Syracuse. So... Uh, I've been to Vermont. So yeah, man. And welcome, Senior Pickle. I'm here at a coffee shop. Enchanted Grounds. Raton, New Mexico. I gotta get some napkins. Hold on. 
We have another room here. Another nice little room here. Lots of seating. No. <laughs> so the owner, the one of the, the owner is one of those women. So <laughs> having a good time. So <laughs> I like it when there's like I talk and there's kind of people in the background walking or moving. So yeah. Well, Pueblo, okay. First of all, Annette, if you've been to Westcliff, that's where I live. So you need to visit Westcliff, Colorado. Seriously, you're welcome to visit. I'd love to meet you, buy you lunch or whatever. We got wonderful mountain views. So Pueblo is an hour east of Westcliff. And it feels like a world apart. I here's the thing about Pueblo. It was in like an industrial town. So it still has that like blue collar industrial feel to it. And you're kind of removed from the mountains. The mountains are way in the distance. But Pueblo has grown on me. It's just grown on me. And I, I the funny thing is, I can honestly say, like, Pueblo gets made fun of a lot. Like the rest of Colorado makes fun of Pueblo. So <laughs> like it is just it just it's easy to make fun of. But Pueblo has really grown on me. So I, I, I generally am usually happy when I'm there because they have Mexican restaurants. I'm obsessed with Mexican food. So the thing, other thing about Pueblo for me personally was I worked a job in Trinidad and I had, a, it was a good paying job and I had it for a while. I eventually quit it because I was so miserable, but it, it was a, a, it paid really well and it was decent. And the company headquarters was in Pueblo. So every once in a while, I'd have to go up to Pueblo. And Pueblo to Trinidad is about 90 miles. It's about an hour and 20 minutes to get up there. But anyway, I, I, I kind of, my heart grew for Pueblo. So, yeah, yeah, Mexican food. Yeah, no, I know, I know. Senior Pickle, you do need to, Colorado is really pretty. I mean, I've lived there for 21 years now, and I'm so happy there. And, and I'm a Southern Colorado guy, so every once in a while I get to New Mexico. <laughs> so, anyway, <laughs> I want to show you New Mexico type things. You know, I don't know what this. New Mexico just has a vibe. It's sort of like laid back and it's unpretentious and. You know, there's no rat race going on in New Mexico unless you live in Albuquerque and you're stupid. With the exception of that, there's no rat race in New Mexico, you know, for the whole state. <laughs> so, you know, very Spanish. They got the Zia symbol. There's just Mexican food or new Mexican food. It's just a place that you can just be chill. And, uh, and you can be, you can live your life quietly. New Mexico. Well, okay, this is a pet peeve of mine. Three kids just walked in. <laughs> and one of them, she didn't even close the door. Is this a barn? <laughs> is this a barn? People walk in and they don't close the door? Actually, it's all right, though. But anyway, <laughs> I got sidetracked with that. Hey, will you close the door? Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. So anyway, <laughs> Senior Pickle, where have you been in Colorado? Where have you been? I'm just curious. So... I just got a boring coffee, by the way, just a, and I actually had caffeine in it, so, but, uh, I did three not too shabbies yesterday, and um, here, I'll show you the, the not too shabbies. 
Trinidad has so many old buildings and um, so it kind of there's so many it's like a, it's kind of like the Rust Belt Trinidad, Walsenburg, Pueblo on I-25 it just has a little bit of a Rust Belt it's seen better days kind of a, the economy that kind of thing so anyway so there's all these old so here's the not too shabbies I did Oh, I did an alley. There's all these abandoned brick buildings and alleys. Here's a not too shabby I did. It's an alleyway with abandoned brick buildings. <laughs> not too shabby. There you go. You drove through quickly in Colorado. Why'd you drive through quickly? I mean, seriously, you got. There's so many. I mean, if you just love mountains and scenery, Colorado has probably the best scenery in the lower 48 states. You know, Hawaii. I hear Hawaii. I've never been to Hawaii. People say Hawaii is the best, and I won't argue with that. But Colorado in the lower 48, you know, so. But that's just my, so at least you drove, so what did you drive on I-70? Interstate, at least you, you definitely saw the mountains if you drove across on Interstate 70. So I, I did this goofy one of the Tr Trinidad Janitor and Restaurant Supply. It's Trinidad Janitor and Restaurant Supply. Not too shabby. So. <laughs> So, and then I did, I did this other one. I went to, uh, there's a gym that I, they, they still, it's a long story, but I still have a free, that they let me get in for free. And uh, there was, I, there was a yellow bouncy ball. It's a yellow bouncy ball. Not too shabby. There you go. <laughs> so there you go. Just having fun. So see, now I only have, it says I only have two people watching. So now my feelings are all deflated. So because it's the Kiss Cactus live stream, I have to boost my numbers up. So I watch my, oh no, wait, wait, wait. I have to watch, I almost exited out of my live stream. Oh, Annette, I've been all over Colorado. I've been every, almost everywhere. Almost everywhere, so. Yeah, and I've been to Gunnison. I've, I've done Cumberland Pass. I lived in Buena Vista. I would always drive over Cottonwood Pass to the reservoir. So I've, I've been all over. So not to sound snooty, but that's a really pretty area for sure. So I actually, I mean, I really kind of, I, that's one aspect. It's one aspect that I miss about living in Buena Vista was driving, um, up Cottonwood Pass, and then all the opportunities for mountaineering and driving into Gunnison County, and you know, so anyway, okay, so I'm watching, I'm beefing up my numbers. <laughs> so, Annette, where have you gone? Like, what's your favorite? So, you've been to Pitkin? You want to tell me more about Pitkin? I've been to Pitkin, I've driven through it. So it is a pretty, it's definitely a pretty area. The only trouble is it's like, it's kind of like some of these Colorado towns, realistically, you know, you, you only enjoy them in the summer. And then, you know, you have, you have a solid six to seven months of winter where it is just flat out winter weather. And it's hard, you know, roads are closed for the whole winter season. And unless you really like snowshoeing, <laughs> anyway, I don't know. I just don't know. I, I've tried to live in Colorado and I still do. I live in another mountain town. It's just getting a little harder as I get older. So, but I don't want to sound negative though. <laughs> I love the mountains. You know, there's a lot to say, but so. But come to Westcliff, we have stunning mountain views. But then that's like all we have. We're just this tiny little town of a thousand people. 
there's not there's no easy hikes there's not a lot of there's just not as much to do in west cliff you know Buena Vista has the river so you can go whitewater rafting you've got all the roads going into the mountains whether it's cottonwood pass chalk creek canyon independence pass monarch pass um there's even other roads there's more that you, you there's more access there were all the roads up into the mountains by leadville and then of course mosquito the mosquito range you can go up by uh alma fair play and then go into all those mountains the sangres it's there's not as there's no real roads that go into the mountains for ordinary people and um Sorry, those kids walked out and I was like watching to see that they closed the door. So, so anyway, there's not a lot of access. Now, people always say, well, there's Medino Pass, but that's like, that's like a four wheel drive. That's an intense four wheel drive kind of road. That's about it. So, people don't know what they're talking about. So, I challenge people in Westcliff. I'm like, oh, yeah, you think you have access? I'll show you. Well, let's go to Buena Vista. I'll show you so much access. <laughs> Part of it is because the Sangre de Cristo Mountains don't have the topography. Those mountains are younger compared to the Sawatch Range in Buena Vista, where you have a big mountain, and then you have a huge mountain, and then you have a major canyon where it goes up and it goes straight down, and then you have like a little canyon trying to think of another big mountain, but then you could drive, you could put a road in that Canyon and then you, you know, you, you have access. Sangre de Cristo range is just big. And then it's like big, 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 big. And there's no, nothing that goes down where you could, you could, you know, put a road through. So anyway, Oh wow. You're really, Aunt Annette, you really are a, Gun a Gunnison County girl. You've gone to Almond, Almond, that's right, the old railroad tunnel, the Alpine tunnel. That's a remarkable area. And uh, I've driven, yeah, I've been up there. So that's that the Alpine tunnel region. So it's not that scary. It's not that scary. Come on, Annette. I, well, I mean, yeah, there are some sections where if you go off the road, yeah, you will tumble and roll to your death. I mean, I, I, there, that is that. I mean, <laughs> maybe it is scary. <laughs> so, yeah, Leadville, Turquoise Lake, very nice. No complaints for me. I was actually a mental health therapist in Leadville. So that was fun. So it was, we, we were pretty sure at the time, my coworker, we had the highest elevation mental health clinic in the world. We were, we were over, we were at 10,000 feet. So I quit that job too, though. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy being self-employed. I don't have a boss. It's not everything to be self-employed. There's advantages and disadvantages to everything, but I, I, I hate being an employee. So anyway, should I get the bar? Get the bar in there. It's a little nicer this way. So. Hey, Jeremy, how are you doing? I'm here at a coffee shop in Raton. Check out that bar area. It, it's like, it must have been an old Western bar. So, but it's really nice. And I got my coffee. Raton, New Mexico. So, good little place. Good happening place. So, yeah, there's that train. I've never taken that train. Um, in Leadville, but that, that's probably, probably, it's probably fun to do. So yeah, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> <coughs> trying to get the right, 
So what the problem is, if I hold it out here, I get uh, I'm too concentrating on the. I can't talk too much, but. Well, Jeremy, I did three not too shabbies yesterday. I did three not too shabbies yesterday, and um, today my bike is on my bike rack out there, and I'm probably going to hop on my bike and just putz around town here in Raton, New Mexico. And um, I'm probably going to, we'll see, but part of my bike, bike trip is motivated by searching, like biking around town, searching for not too shabby. So I hope to make at least one or two. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> it's one of those things with those not too shabbies where you want to, sometimes, sometimes they're like, you really got to like, let them come to you. And you don't want to be looking too hard for them because then I, I can feel it. And some of my not too shabbies aren't that good when I'm kind of pushing it. But anyway, there is a balance with that. But hopefully I'll do some not too shabbies. So did you see, and Jeremy, did you see my three? I did three yesterday. So please check them out. So I have no idea in that about the Royal Gorge. I think it's a tourist trap. I think it's ridiculous that they charge 20, it's like $24 to get in. It's ridiculous. So the gorge is beautiful, and but I don't care about any of the amusement park nonsense they have at the Royal Gorge, so. But it is very pretty. I mean, it's a scenic gorge with a bridge. And my friend, uh, John, Canyon City, he showed me an area where you can go that's outside the park and you can enjoy the gorge. You can see the bridge in the distance. It's very pretty. So, you know, but you know, I mean, if you want to spend your money at the, the Royal Gorge Amusement Touristy Park, go, you know, go do it. So, <laughs> I'm sorry I'm so opinionated about that, but it's kind of ridiculous in my opinion. So, they should just have the bridge. And that's it. And just, you can walk on the bridge or you can sit in various areas around the gorge. And that's it. Just have it quiet and reverent and kind of respectful that it's not some stupid Disneyland amusement park kind of thing. So anyway, that's just my, that's my opinion. I don't mean to, you know... <laughs> This is what anyway. <laughs> so it just bothers me a little bit when you have to pay to see nature. It just bothers me. So, but I mean, I, I get it. If, you, if you've got unlimited money, go do the Royal Gorge, and you know, it's worth. It's probably worth walking on the bridge one time in your life, and you know. So, but just remember, if you ever want to go back, my friend in Canyon City or Florence. He showed me where you can go up and look at the bridge and the gorge. And it's just outside the park. It's not as gorgeous and as stunning as when you're on the bridge. But it is still pretty remarkable, that whole region. So, anyway. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Chanted Grounds Coffee Shop. So... Hold on, the door opened to close it. Ooh. 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 Ah. Yeah, I mean, if you're looking for quiet nature, go to Pitkin. <laughs> or just come to Custer County. <laughs> Custer County, that's the county I live in. Is it outside of West Cliff and Silver Cliff? There's just nothing. It's just forest. You might have scenery or you might just be in the forest and you're looking at pine trees. But whatever, you know. Anyway, but Colorado is special. I'm so grateful I moved out west. You know, I moved out west October. Well, I left September 1997. And I settled in Colorado Springs in October of 97. And the, 
at first I was planning to live in Las Cruces, New Mexico, and it didn't work out. That's a long story. But um, I ended up in Colorado Springs. And yeah, I've been so happy. You can't, you can, you can't beat the interior West. I call it, you know, I call it the four corner states, Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and um, Arizona. You just can't beat. And I'm a small town guy. Like I love Raton is so off the beaten path. It's just this, I mean, on one level, I totally understand why someone would come through Raton and be like, Oh, it's just, like there's nothing here. There's no jobs. There's nothing happening. You know, at least on one level. But I kind of like that. I just like small towns. You know, it's laid back people. I hate suburbs. I hate that rat race mentality of suburbs and stupid people. Look how big my house is. Oh, look at great, how great my car is. And all they're focused on is their 401k. You know, a 401k mentality. It's like, I'm not going to live, you know, people who are obsessed with their, their money and their, their this and their that. You know, in general, I'm not usually friends with them because we don't have anything in common. So, yeah, so New Mexico. <laughs> Man, there's so much. There's so much to talk about. But yeah, New Mexico, ta- like pretty much the Sangre to, R- Chris- to Crystal Range, the mountain range west of West Cliff, it goes all the way down and um, into northern New Mexico. So if you're in Taos or Santa Fe, you have that same mountain range. There's plenty of mountaineering to do, you know. Well, I mean, it's fine to have a 401k, but it's like, it's so obviously I support people saving and doing all that, but it's like, do you live for your money or, you know, I, and I meet people where it's like, they're just, it's all about their money. It, it just, you know, they're living for their money and that's where their security is. And, you know, anyway, I'm talking about that. So I'm glad you saved well. <laughs> so good job on saving. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know if I'm, I don't think I'm being offensive, but I mean, I know people where they, it, you can just tell from their lifestyle, money is their God. Everything is about their money, you know? And you know what? Yeah. They don't care about beauty, like mountains or, you know, they're perfectly content to live in New Jersey where there's no scenery, no quality of life. They're just miserable. And they're like, they're ugly, like no scenery, all the traffic. People are mean. You know, I grew up in that. I've seen that. The only thing they can live for is how nice their car is or whether they have season tickets to the, you know, New York Giants football team or something stupid like that. So, (laughs) so anyway, (laughs) I'm getting a little opinionated. So anyway, yeah, okay, okay. (laughs) No, so New Mexico does have mountains. In fact, I've got, here, I'll just share... I hike the uh, hike the highest mountain in um, highest mountain in New Mexico. It's called Wheeler Peak, and it's thirteen thousand three hundred feet. I just shared a link. You can see my my pictures of Wheeler Peak. So 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 there's definitely plenty of mountains. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Good for you, Ed. So, <laughs> now I feel bad about talking about money and all that, but anyway. So, I just believe in there's balance. Yes, of course, make your money. Make your money. You know, I mean, if you're going to work, you might as well make good money. I don't even make, quote, good money, but I make enough. And I save, and you know, I, I don't have a, I don't have a like children or a wife. I, I bought a small town home, bought a small town home, so my mortgage payment is small, and um, and then that frees me up. I have more money to, to kind of like for quality of life. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So check that out. Yeah, I've got a few New Mexico hikes 
Um, hey, Darren. <laughs> so anyway, New Mexico has mountains. It definitely has desert. So, and it definitely has wide open spaces where if you're not in, if you're not in Albuquerque and you're not in Santa Fe, Santa Fe is not even that big of a city, but Santa Fe and Albuquerque, if you're outside of those two cities, it's like Wyoming. There's just so little, you know what I mean? I mean, you can go forever and be on roads where there's just no people. And it's, you know, if you, you know, if you like that rural lifestyle, New Mexico is definitely a good option for you. So, so yeah. Hey, Darren, I'm here at Enchanted Browns Coffee Shop. So, you know. Enchanted Grounds, Raton, New Mexico. The Colorado border is six miles north. So I would do a live stream at the state line where there's a welcome to colorful Colorado sign. But reception, like Verizon reception is, is terrible. You might get one bar. So I can't I can't do a live stream up there. Yeah, no, anyway, that's good, Annette. That's good, Annette. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's good. So you live outside of Houston, huh? I've heard stories about how humid. It's just hot, and it's 99% humidity down there. Now, even though I'm a small-town guy, there's no question I'm a small-town guy. Um... I like a good city every once in a while, just for a few days, just to go and go, go, you know, but I'm talking like once every six months, go to a city, see some friends, go to a Starbucks, <laughs> go to a museum, you know, go to some place that's interesting, you know, and then get the heck out. <laughs> so, you know. So we got five people watching. Actually, there's only four people watching because I'm watching my own live stream here. So let's see here. <laughs> oh, no, no. Now it's six people. There's five people plus me watching. So I'm beefing up the numbers. So. <laughs> so good times here. Good times here at Enchant Enchanted Grounds Coffee Shop. So, hey, Jolene. <laughs> Jolene, are you doing all right? Look at this coffee shop I'm in. Look at this coffee shop. Look at this, like, this old Western bar. You know, that's an authentic, that's an old bar, you know. Is that nice? Very nice here. We're in Raton, New Mexico, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in the land of enchantment. And I definitely do feel enchanted by the scenery, the environment, the sip of my coffee here. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it's a nice coffee shop. I saw I saw my massage therapist yesterday because I've I've got some foot troubles. My feet are still a plantar. There's some issues, and then I'm gonna see her again. At 4:45 today, I'm seeing her twice. So I don't, I, I, I'm not rich. I save, like, but I do spend money on my massage therapist because she helps so much, and I need it for my sanity. Being a mental health therapist. So anyway, Jolene, you need to get your butt down here. What are you doing? Oh, Annette, thank you. I try, and I know, you know, Annette. Thanks for putting up with me. I, I know on Twitter I can be challenging. I'll just leave it at that. Some I can see how some people might get fed up with me, but so I appreciate your your uh, your friendship. <laughs> and um, yeah, you know I'm just trying to have fun. I'm just trying to have fun in life. <laughs> you know these live streams are fun. So and um, you know for some of my like not too shabby 
I mean, I have 4,833 subscribers. And the reality is roughly at least 3,000 of them are subscribed because of my not too shabby videos. And I know that's like this, it's funny. So anyway, I forgot what I was trying to say, but oh, no, 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 no. So then because of my not too shabbies, I have this little following. So then people are kind of watch these live streams and it's fun. I just try to have fun. Anyway, I'm blabbing. So Jolene, one year ago, you were in uh, Moab, Utah, Monument Valley. That's a pretty area. There is, have, has anyone ever been to, it's called Mexican Hat, Utah, Mexican Hat. There's a rock structure. It's, it's in far Southeast Utah. And I think it's just outside of the Navajo Reservation. And it's just this one big rock that's kind of prominent. And it looks kind of like a sombrero from, from a few angles. And uh, you can't hike up it or anything, but you can just take pictures of it. That whole region, I haven't been down there in like 15 years. And I was thinking, you know, I need to get to Mexican Hat. I need to get down there. And, you know... Some of the scenery is just stunning. Yeah, I know, Mexican hat. Man, there's so many places to go. And I, I feel like I need an RV where I can just live in an RV for months and just travel and stay at this state park for a week. And you know what I mean? And explore and go to another town. I, I got to do that. My problem is... Even though I, I can work remotely, I still have to work. And it's just hard. It's really hard to really take time off and say, I'm going to dedicate the next four weeks or six weeks. You know what I mean? Usually it's just like, okay, I can cram in a three-day weekend or a four-day weekend. You know, and you really can't explore. You feel like you're rushing. You know, anyway, I'm, I'm complaining. I shouldn't complain, but, you know... So, but Mexican hat. So, anyway, so we got seven people watching. That's not too shabby. So, <laughs> anyway, I'm looking at my. <laughs> I'm like, I should talk to the owner. The owner is that woman in the sort of the purple. That's the owner right there. So I should talk to her. I should, should I talk to her? I wonder if she talk, like she might freak out and be like, oh my gosh. So I'm kind of shy. Should I ask her to join me? We'll see here. Blanding, Utah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Best breakfast. Okay, you want. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to talk. I mean, I'm gonna. We'll see. I'm a little shy. Let me. All right, I'm just gonna have to be bold and talk to her. Here we are at the coffee shop. There's other people here though too. She's talking to that woman. So. Look at all the people, though. It's a bunch of locals, a bunch of local guys back there. Coffee shops need good, like, local people. You know? Every co coffee shop needs a few college students studying, using the Wi-Fi, a bunch of, you know, a bunch of older guys that are regular sitting, talking about whatever. You know, just good, good amount of noise. So... <laughs> I'm kind of shy. I want to talk to her. There she is. There she is. <laughs> Annette, I'm shy. <laughs> Having a good time here. Oh, look, they sell uh, turquoise jewelry here. Nice. This is cool. They sell, they sell jewelry here. And it's turquoise jewelry. This is the Southwest. This is New Mexico. So they sell turquoise jewelry. That's really cool. That's nice. 
energy bar. This cute little thing. Oh, it's like a coffee thing. Look at that. A little coffee thing. Isn't that kind of cool? This, this is kind of cute. <laughs> Isn't that neat? <laughs> I could do it not too shabby of this thing. We'll see. We'll see what happens. That is so cool. Hold on, I gotta boot this. I gotta boot somebody here. Boot. <laughs> Great little coffee shop here. I'm doing a live stream right now. It's no big. I, I'm not like some celebrity. I only have five people watching. But I'm doing a live stream. Yeah, no, I don't know if you're like privacy. <laughs> No, but I'm promoting this coffee shop. I live in Colorado. Oh, really? I'm not that far, but yeah, no, I'm just like hanging out. Yeah. Great. Yeah. That's the original bar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this original was a bar of some kind, I'm assuming. That's all original. I'm assuming from like Yeah, yeah. No, this is great. I used to live in Trinidad for a couple of years. I used to no, yeah, no, yeah, and like when I like I had a really stressful job, so I would always take drives. To, so I would always come down here and just whatever, you know, just eat food somewhere. So no, Raton's like this interesting town where, you know, it's kind of like Trinidad, where it's like it's like an old mining town that's seen better days, but you know, eventually it's going to get discovered, and you know, people are going to want to move here. They're they're really starting to rebuild all of the. The small stores and the small businesses. Yeah, because this little downtown area is lovely. It is like so nice. And the, the lady that owns this and her sister, they're a major contributor to building up. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. Yeah, that's what I've kind of heard. Yeah. Isn't it? If the owner's right there, right? Yeah, okay. I might bother her if she comes out. No, anyway, yeah, so Raton's a nice town. I And like, I'm a cyclist, so I used to. I, I actually might do it today, but I'm not sure. But I used to bike up and down Ratchelon Pass. So it was kind of crazy, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's legal to bike on the interstate. If there's no alternate point from A to B in the Western states, usually it's legal to bike um, on the inter on the shoulder. You gotta be on the shoulder. I didn't know it was illegal to bike. Oh, really? But in New Mexico, yeah, you can bike on the interstate a lot. Of but in the rest of the country, you can't. Yeah, yeah. So, but New Mexico is so rural that it's like you can't, you know. So, but anyway. Yeah, so that's really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, they got artwork up there. So, got a clock. See that clock? It's like a clock, but it's got it's a painting too. So it's kind of neat. So, I'm a big fan of turquoise jewelry, by the way. And the funny thing is I don't own any. I just like looking at it, but pretty nice. <laughs> So there's other people coming in. <laughs> so, so Annette, I talked to somebody there. I broke through my shyness. So that nice woman. So Raton's a nice town. It's a nice town. You know, if you live in Raton, you're not you're not trying to impress anyone. You know what I mean? It's just that kind of town where it's like, you know, if you're kind of a big rich show off kind of person you know you say hey I, I live in Raton no one's gonna and that's okay it's okay you know what I mean but if you say like oh I live in Aspen or you know those towns have a reputation for being kind of pretentious and oh you're rich and this, you ski <laughs> anyway <laughs> so so, 
What are we going to talk about? Are we? Are, I think maybe I, I usually like going for an hour, so I've got I've gone for forty nine minutes, and um, I might go for an hour, another ten minutes. So, but it's been fun. It's nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's right. So, I just don't. I, I, I'm I'm very respectful about when I do these live streams because I know some people don't like a camera, or you know what I mean. People have privacy issues, and they don't. So I don't want to go up to her. We'll just see. She comes to me or whatever. <laughs> No, I really mean that though. Otherwise, I wouldn't. It wouldn't be a big deal. So, but it's a nice coffee shop, though. So, in fact, let me show you the cinnamon rolls. I can't. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm really kind of. I've been eating pretty healthy. Check out these cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon. That's a big cinnamon roll. Three dollars and fifty cents. That's some kind of sugary thing on top. That I mean, that is a good-looking cinnamon roll. Oh my gosh! Danishes. Pretty impressive. <laughs> Got some muffins here. <laughs> so. <laughs> The hiking guide. Actually, I might check this out. Actually, I'm going to check this out. <laughs> yeah, Jolene, I know. I should do that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what I do. <laughs> we'll see what I do. I'm looking at this. I'm interested in this hiking guide. There's not too many hikes. Actually, there are some places to hike. So, these little hikes they got or whatever. Jolene, I'm in Raton, New Mexico. Isn't it in the title of my, uh, yeah, in a coffee, the title says in a coffee shop in Raton, New Mexico. So anyway, it's just six miles south of the Colorado border, so south of Trinidad. So, yeah, yeah, it's a nice town. So, it's a nice town. You want to roll your Yeah, it's okay, Jolene. I didn't mean to sound snobby, but <laughs> this is a nice little coffee shop, though. Enchanted Grounds. Enchanted Grounds Coffee Shop. So I'm, I'm going to go for a bike ride. And it's just, this is going to be, this will be my first bike ride since my. Unsuc unsuccessful bike across America trip. Um, so I haven't ridden my bike since early March. And um, so, and I've been kind of unmotivated. And, and then Westcliff, it's always, it's, it hasn't really been that warm. It hasn't been over 60 degrees in Westcliff. So, and here today, it's going to be like 65, 68 down here. It's definitely warmer. So, so anyway, I'm just gonna putz around, and honestly, I'm not. Even, I I might just bike like two or three miles, but I just want to get my butt on the bike and try to have fun. And I've just had motivation problems. I haven't been motivated. And hold on a second. Where's my phone? Okay. What the heck am I watching? Oh, there we go. There's me. <laughs> See, it has like the unending mirror. 
anyway, but I hope to do, um, sometimes I can bike across, I can just bike around town and stay motivated just by looking for things to do, not too shabby zone. So anyway, but see how it goes. Just having fun, trying to have fun. Ooh. So, how about a salted caramel mocha? That sounds pretty good. We got some nice drinks. You know, salt, salted car, anything with sea salt, sea salt and caramel, that's really popular these days. Or a, a coconut mocha, that sounds pretty good. You get a peaches and cream latte. Sounds pretty good. You know, just a plain old macchiato. You know, they, they do have Italian sodas. So, yeah, and Jolene, I'm, I'm uh, like next winter. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be. I hope. I hope. I hope I pull it off, and I'm pretty sure I can. Next winter, I want to spend four months in Arizona. Either I'm buying a condo, I'm finding a rental, and so then at the very least, I have no excuse about weather. You know what I mean? I can go hiking or walking or biking every day in Tucson. I'm looking at Tucson, Tucson area, or maybe Apache Junction. They're in, in the Phoenix area, but next winter, I don't want to have any excuses where, you know, the weather is reasonably nice and I can go, I can just be active. Whatever I want to do, I can go hike, I can bike, I can walk, I can go places, I can get in my car and go somewhere and go wander in the desert with swallows. I have to have that. I'm tired. I can't do this because I'm, I'm not, I'm not a skier, I'm not a snowshoer. And it's the reality is you're just way more limited in Colorado in the winter. And winters where I live, minimum five months, if not six, definitely even six months. Six months of just straight, flat out winter. You know, it is cold. And, you know, you have to, you know, to really be active in the winter, you've got to be really prepared and really motivated. And, you know, the wind. Where I live, the wind just howls, and uh, it's just. But the, the other thing too is it's really beautiful in the summer. The latter end of spring, summer, and the early part of fall is wonderful where I live. So, yeah, I'm thinking Tucson. We'll see. I just, you know, it's kind of in the early stages. So, a cherry Italian soda, huh? That sounds pretty good, a cherry Italian soda. So. <laughs> oh, there's lots of local people. There are lots of local people in here. This is good. You can kind of tell it's a local coffee shop kind of place. I'm sitting with the roller guys up there. At those guys. Nice little coffee shop. So, <laughs> I'm probably not going to talk to the boss because I'm going to get off pretty soon here. I talked to the other woman though. That was fun. So, but. good times. Good times in Colorado or New Mexico. I can't believe I said Colorado. So, So the live stream's been going for 59 minutes. So I got I gotta have one more minute. <laughs> then I'll start thinking about wrapping things up. So, I mean, I don't have to. We'll see what I do. It's Saturday, I'm not working. No counseling. This is the one day of the week where I do not see any clients. I don't have any counseling. So Thank you. 
Raton. That's what I'm saying, Raton. But it's not Raton, it's Raton. Raton. So I'm pronouncing it right. I lived in Trinidad, so I know how the locals. The locals say Raton, not Raton. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's kind of a dumb name. It's Spanish for mouse. It's a really stupid name. <laughs> it used to be called Willow Springs. I think if you look on Wikipedia, it used to be called Willow Springs from, you know, probably early 20th century. And I don't know why they called it Raton. Just, you know, the last thing I want to be thinking about is mice. You know, when I'm choosing a town to live in. But anyway, so. <laughs> oh, it's, it's worth retoned. That's interesting. I hear a lot of people say raton. They put the syllable on the first one. So, but they pick their they pick their town name so they got to stick with it mouse i'll just call it mouse i'm in mouse new mexico <laughs> all right you know what i'm actually feeling better i was a little grouchy this morning probably just because i was tired um i'm gonna go for a little bike ride and hopefully i'm gonna find some nacho shabbies and um hopefully i'll just i might just come right back to this very spot because they have internet here and upload them and I just have to be in Trinidad at 445 to see my massage therapist. I have an hour massage, which is mostly going to focus on my feet because of my foot issues, foot, ankle. So it'll be an interesting, maybe hopefully we'll do a, I'll do a video or something fun or, you know. So, well, Jolene, we, you know, you need to, <laughs> I just want you to come down here, come down to the Southwest. New Mexico, the land of enchantment. Jolene, go Google the Capulin Volcano National Monument. About 30 miles east of here, there was a volcano that it erupted, I think, about 20,000 years ago, something like that. And it erupted. And now there's the mountain, and it's like a cone. Go check that out. Capulin Volcano National Monument. It's not that. It's not like it's not a number one destination to go to. It's not that interesting. But if you're in the area, if you're driving through, it's definitely worth stopping at. Capulin Volcano National Monument. And uh, now it's like it's a mountain, and it's got trees or like bushes, and you can hike around the cone, and you can look down. It's a fascinating place. So I have some videos. If you go on my my Kiss Cactus page and you type in Capulin Volcano, I had videos from a few years ago. I did a not too shabby there. I've done not too shabbies everywhere practically. So, but anyway, just a little plug and for anyone else watching. So, you know, <laughs> good times, man. Yeah, no, it's dormant and it's got bushes and, you know, it's like high desert plains where it's got like small trees. So you can still see way out. And then when you're up on the ridge of the, the the volcano mountain, you can see way out in the plains. I mean, it is pretty. It's not it's not Gunnison, Colorado pretty, but it's still remarkable. And uh, you can't you won't go wrong. So. Annette, I'm still tempted to drive an hour and a half east and walk into Texas and be in the same state as you. So here, I'll show you. I'll just show you. Northwest Texas corner, Colorado guy. .com. It's about five miles east of Clayton, New Mexico. Here it is. I'll show you. The northwest corner of Texas. 
there's a marker right there. And there's just a little two lane highway on the plains. And uh, nobody knows about it. There's no sign or anything. You just fly by, you know? And uh, like, here's the actual marker if you're interested. Here, that's, that's the marker. So <laughs> it's really interesting. I'm into, I'm so interested in borders and markers and just little geographical novelties. I did some videos of the U S Mexico border last month, you know, and I'm just, I, I don't, you know, like sometimes there's fencing or whatever. And I don't care. I'm not making any political statements or anything like that, but I just show like, it's so fascinating to show the border, you know, so that kind of thing. And then when you get to tri-state markers, that's a beautiful, when you have three states all meeting at one spot, that's a special place. And of course there's the four, the four marker, uh, the four state marker, the four corners, you know, but, but that's kind of a touristy, I should go there. That's too far from here, but I like tri-state markers. Tri-state markers are pretty special. So, Yeah, no, so Annette, yeah, okay, so to get to the northwest Texas corner, you take U.S. Highway 412. So it is, it's generally in that area near Dalhart, but it's even north of Dalhart by about 15, 20 miles. So the best directions is when you get to Clayton, New Mexico, you take State Highway 412. And that highway goes east from Clayton, and it goes into the Oklahoma panhandle. But it gets really close to just that northwest corner of Texas. So, so realistically, if you're living in Houston, there's probably no reason that you would ever want to go from Clayton east because there's nothing out there. It's just plains, and the Oklahoma panhandle has nothing out there. So, but... um. Like here's here's a good shot. <laughs> I kept using my uh, my my program to just kind of draw lines, but that's pretty much. <laughs> so it's just kind of fascinating. So the one the one place I really would like to visit is the new the New Mexico Arizona Mexico tri-state marker, the southeast corner of Arizona, the very southeast corner of Arizona. And I don't think there's any roads that lead there. It's going to take some hard work and I may not ever get there. I might need a four wheel drive vehicle to drive on the desert or something crazy like that. But so but then let me show you too. Um, hold on. I'll show you another tri-state, what's your tri-state marker? Where's, darn, do I have, I want to show you, there's, there's a marker for the Texas, where Texas, Oklahoma, and New Mexico all meet, Texas, and that's right off the highway, and there's, there's actually a sign marker, I'll show you here. Oh yeah, all right. My, my website shows up number one. Texas, New Mexico, and Oklahoma. They all meet right there at that, that little vertical thing. So uh, right there, I was in Oklahoma. There's Texas. What do you think of that? Tri-state marker. Hi there. So here's another one. Just to show you how random it is right there. It's just the planes. And I, I did just did a little mark. So it's just so weird and random. You know? But when you think about it, you know, you look on the map and there's lots of there's lots of points where three states meet. And it looks neat and tidy and you know, on a map, but there's like a real spot. There's a real spot where all three of those meet. Is that something? I think it's kind of neat. 
Yeah, yeah. I did it not too shabby. Here, I'll show you this. Wait, I got a not too shabby to show you. Hold on. And like this in Oklahoma. <laughs> Not too shabby. It's my left foot in Texas. My right foot in New Mexico. And my ass in Oklahoma. <laughs> Not too shabby. I don't think you can hear that. I just said it's my left foot in Texas. <laughs> wait, wait. I say it's my left foot in Texas, my right foot in New Mexico, and my ass in Oklahoma. Not too shabby. So, yeah, Solano's, okay, Jolene, Solano's boot is a uh, boot wear, Western wear is just a few blocks that way. I think, I mean, actually, just one block. I think it's just right there. So, yeah, yeah, no, this is lots of fun. So, if you go an hour and a half east of here, okay, look it up on a map. Just like look at any map of the United States, okay? And look at the northeast corner of New Mexico. You can go to the New Mexico, the Texas, the northwest Texas corner. You can go to all these tri state markers where Texas, Oklahoma, and New Mexico meet. Then you can go to where Colorado, Oklahoma, and Kansas meet. It's the southeast Colorado corner. Then there's another point where Colorado, Oklahoma, and New Mexico meet. And there was one day, April 2017, where I visited all, I did this whole little road trip and I kept visiting all these tri state markers. So there's three tri state markers and then the northwest Texas corner, all within, you know, an hour or two of each other. They're not too far away, but yeah, it takes 45 minutes to get to one, 45 minutes again, you know, so it's kind of neat. So, okay, so you heard that? Okay. <laughs> so, sorry, I'm, my ear's all itchy. So, but... <laughs> I think I'm going to wrap up. I'm going to do some not too shabbies. I want to thank, it looks like pretty much Annette and uh, Jolene are the only two people. Thank you for watching my live stream. This has been fun. Like I know all I can say is this is good for my mental health. Once in a while, I was doing a lot of these before when I wasn't, I was preparing for my bike trip and I wasn't working so much. I had a lot of time on my hands. I was doing these every day. Right now, I can only, it seems like once a week because I'm working so hard and I'm always tired. But um, just want to say thank you for doing. So. Jolene, you want to, <laughs> Jolene, I'll call you in just a little second here, okay? So I don't know if I can buy this. I might buy you, a, or maybe I'll buy you your band bandana. Let me get back to you on that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's nice in that. Yeah, welcome. Signing off from Enchanted Grounds. Enchanted Grounds in Raton, New Mexico. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate everyone watching. Really, like it's been fun. All right, till next time. Okay, take care. Bye, everybody. Bye.